Test, 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 test this. Can you hear myself at the very least? Right. And pesto, so there's that. Well, I appreciate the transparency on the logo for the grid. <laughs> being able to see grid is important, yeah. <laughs> no, I think this is fine. The tra uh, yeah, it worked. Is it always transparent? Is it just... Oh, okay. Well, it just worked out then, I guess. I also dig the player cams over the player port. Yeah, uh, the, port the, the setup here is fantastic. All right, we have a, a Houston local classic. <laughs> Hub style versus Espio. Yeah, Hub was telling me that uh, Espio like routinely beats him pretty badly. I wouldn't say pretty badly. It's it's more like I don't think Espio. I don't think Hub has won. Mm -hmm. But they're usually not like super lopsided sets. Okay, okay. Hub, Hub is more. Of, Hub is a down player, so you know. <laughs> I don't know if he's a down. <laughs> he's like a, a downer sometimes, yeah. more so than a down. Oh, that was nice, great stagger. Yeah, new tool that Lene has, staggering after Kuga there. Yeah, I was telling. I played a long set with Hub just the other day, actually, and I was telling him that he should probably try not CSing that uh, Kuga follow up sometimes. Yeah. Because yeah. it's only like minus one or something, Only right? minus one. And it's Lene, so minus one is where she lives. Yeah. There's a whole mind game around it, so. If you green shield the Kuga in order to shield the dash, uh -huh. like the, the hit follow up, she can Kuga dash and throw your green shield. Uh, that's cursed. Yeah, it's very oh cursed. My god. Yeah. I don't like that at all. <laughs> this this character has always been cheating, but now she's got more places to cheat, I guess. Yeah, she, she's quite powerful. Oh, oh, such an early throw tech from Hub. He's like, definitely like feeling it. He's up against it, he's feeling it. Yeah. Oh, the full 50 meter reflex. Man. It's all right. Hub's going into this round with 200 meter. He's got the resource advantage. I think most of the Japanese players would tell you <laughs> that uh, Hub got this in the bag. He actually did a good job by killing himself instantly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Gets the early throw. All right. Staggering five A's. Oh. oh. Oh, and didn't pick that up, unfortunately. Hub doing the I'm down on cycle mash. <laughs> <laughs> Zero block. You oh. can't press there, Hub. We had a session the other day, Mosin and I, with Hub, where Hub wanted some like tips on his defense. And Mosin, like after we watched us play a long set, Mo's uh, conclusion was essentially, uh, "You're bad at mashing." Yeah. And like, yeah, that's definitely true. I think Hub like exclusively fuzzy mashes. It yes. Feels like, right? Yes. Yeah. So he like gets caught out a lot over that. He doesn't really mash uh, gaps. He's always just like mashing. Mashes dash ups, yeah. right? Like he loves to, he likes to mash re dashes. Which yeah. is why I always look so passive in the corner because he's fuzzy mashing even as we speak. Cool. He got lucky there. That was a that was a scary. Well, he doesn't know, <laughs> he I don't know how get lucky, very lucky he got, but he did get lucky like at least for the moment. Close game, close game. Bro. Yeah, it was a close game. All right, so Espio's up one up one zero. Oh, and yeah. is this uh, losers? I think it's a losers uh, quarters? quarters. Losers semis against yeah. Fern, right? Losers yeah, okay. Quarters. Oh man, this side of the bracket was this far behind, huh? <laughs> I guess I guess Fern just cleaned up house on the other side of the bracket. Yeah. <laughs> she got oh. she got spidered, so she was upset. I can't imagine that 5C oh. rebeat is good in pressure. You can't pick it up, right? Uh, Linne or no, Linne. Wagner? Linne. It's not. It's it's not very good. Mainly because you can just no cancel it. Right. Same effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like if the 5C hits, you can't pick up, so that rebeat's yeah. kind of like not great. It's like I can do 5C yeah. with rebeat. There's no point. The only time you can pick nice it up throw. would be in the corner. Mm, meaty throws. I like to see uh, it. I like to see it. Nice. Oh! <laughs> Spirited mash from Hub Style. This is a, a perfect. I have instilled such a fear of throw looping into Hub Style <laughs> that like he very rarely doesn't like gets caught on the second throw in a row. Meaty. Oh! Oh, oh, no! oh! Oh my God! Didn't jump clear over five C. That's crazy. That one's huge. Yeah. Nice pressure. Oh, dash C. No cancel. Walk. Good shields. That's very nice. Nice. Okay, combo completion. All right, he, he, gonna spend. he closed out the cycle with this too. Doesn't yeah. get a wake up CS. Then he wants to. Yeah, he spends it immediately. Great, great, great. So now he can contest for the next cycle. Oh, oh 
Oh, I saw that. I, uh, man, I saw the beginning of that interaction, and I played out way differently from what I was expecting. <laughs> I was expecting 5C to cream yeah. that dr uh, that dr drill. Yeah, his timing was just good. Okay, okay. What are you going to do? Nice blocks. So. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, kill him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah! shield. <laughs> it's like plus 40 or something. He's dead. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Why did they? Oh. Why yeah, did they the do this? Why did they give this to his character? Uh, well played, SPS. Well what, what a game. <laughs> what a game. <laughs> what a game. Uh, that was a... Uh, I think that was a good set in game one, but game two helped kind of lost the plot. Yeah, yeah, definitely fell apart a bit. I think he, he was feeling pressured, and Espios was doing some very like non-standard like throw loops in the corner. Yeah, it looked yeah. like a lot of like uh, empty assaults and stuff. Then I gotta I gotta get on. Oh, there. okay, sure. Yeah. I will be solo on the mic for a bit. I guess it's fine. You know, I'm used to solo calming. I'll send Hub back here. All right, yeah, send <laughs> <laughs> yeah, send him in. Why not? <laughs> All right, Pesto has left us to go play his winner's finals match. I don't know who I'm rooting for, to be honest, in that one, but we will see. It's very strange commentating without being able to see chat in any way. Uh, maybe I can kind of sidle over to this window. No, hey, the guy doesn't have chat up on the other screen. Okay, well, uh, I'm just going to blindly commentate into the void. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> It's very kind folk here. This is actually like a really cool venue. Um, I don't actually know if there's anyone in chat who can even hear me, but uh, yeah, it's a really interesting venue. It's like a big uh, anime goods. Yeah, it's actually, yeah, Hub actually showed up. Yeah, it's like a big anime goods store on the front with like Gunpla and like figures. They got horse girl figures. I'm a fan. Well, they got one horse girl figure, but uh yeah, so it's like a it's like a combination like Japanese toy merch goods place and also cafe or something in the front, and then the back is just like a legit arcade, which is yeah, very unusual uh, setup for the architecture of this place. I, I mean, I dig it. It's it's nice. Also, like the the arcade machines are also really good. They got Street Fighter Four. Pesto and I were playing Fei Long Mirrors earlier, and I was screaming. We were screaming. It's, it's that Street Fighter Four. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, I was saying it's it's kind of it's strange commentating without being able to see Twitch chat or anything in any way. Oh uh, yeah. All right, we got Papa Pesto versus BM, aka Bayside Milf Hunter, Bay, aka Benzo Muncher, aka Boy Milker, aka what are the uh, other ones? Bad meowers. Bad meowers. Uh, Buenos matches. Uh, <laughs> it's got a lot of them. He's been Bayside Milf Hunter on Start GG for a while though. I remember at set count last year he signed up as boy milker to get by accident he had forgotten to change yeah. his name and like the girl at the counter managing registration like loved the name she <laughs> she was like such a big fan of the name boy milker and as we walked away after i just like bm was like red in the face like just absolutely <laughs> embarrassed and as we walked away she like into this big voice goes like good luck boy milker as we're running as we're walking away <laughs> BM is like, was, I bring that up to BM every now and then, and every single time he's like, no, <laughs> don't remind me. <laughs> Alright, so Papa Pesto and BM, this matchup happens all the time. Um, so Papa Pesto, obviously Houston, and BM is Austin, one of the essentially, at this point, probably two or three Austin uh, uni players that are consistently going to, like, making a big showing at places. Actually, I don't really make a big showing. There's, it's just BM. Anyway, so... Uh, he's pulling out the Aurier. Oh, he's pulling out the Aurier. So Pesto going with his sub. I doubt this matchup is... Any well, actually, they hate the matchup, don't they? The the Carmines and the and the Biakia players, they uh, both hate that matchup. Yeah, don't yeah, they? yeah. They <laughs> so maybe this is Pesto... I mean, I think usually Pesto wins this between the two. What is BM? He's, like, talking at the camera. He's finger gunning at the camera. <laughs> All right. No button che checks, please. Wonderful. I love new. I love the Uni Two button assignment check thing in Character Select. It's very good. I don't know why Crossover Arc had button checks, but you know. You still have to make sure. 
That doesn't make any sense. I mean, like, the if you can't trust the input reader in character select, how are you going to trust the input reader in, in like, in-game? Like, there's no... Anyway, so... Okay. There, oh! Jumps clean over the dash C, and of course that move's got, like, 40 frame total duration, so the M's going to die from this. <laughs> no, but that was actually a lot of damage. 4k damage off the counter hit down throw starter. Sweep, but no pick up. I actually wonder if Ori can pick up with, like, a dash 2B or something after this going for a Okay, no thrust. I, we all expect the thrust there, but things are really scary for BM here. But he is playing a character that can take the turn back the tides with just a single hit. This is a set play character. We're going to... Oh, we do have a Twitch chat now. Wonderful. Thank you. Okay, BM totally <laughs> botched the web set there. I'm not... Okay, 2-2-C is great. And combos off this, great. Yeah, he's probably going to make enough meter for the 6 3 c set afterwards. Actually, never mind. The meter game here is really prorated. Oh! Oh, nice 3B from Pesto. Most likely an OS. Oh my god, that was a very strange... Nice, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Combos into web set. Okay, let's see the good. Let's see it. A real web set. How wonderful. Meaty 2B and dash up throw. This is going to probably do like 2.4k damage or something. If even that. Red combo. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, this is a game where you can hold the button to tech out of combos automatically, so it's kind of rare seeing red combos like that. Pesto's asleep at the wheel, apparently. And uh, BM shouldn't need to do another website. He should just kill here with 2d6. Oh, he's gonna... Gotta be... Oh, nice. Yeah. Gotta be uh, meters by right now. Yeah. <laughs> Look at BM's face in the webcam, or the, in the face cam. He's so... Anyway, it was such like a sassy looking uh, gesture that he made there. 5D, obviously, with cancel one to 5DB. Nice. 2C pickup into corner carry. We're gonna be seeing this combo a lot. Okay, Pesto is not going to have a good time here. I don't actually know what Aurier can do to clear all the webs at once. Maybe 5C. Nice. Ooh, oh, very good. Stand shield. shield. Yep. Oh, that was such a spooky run up that. Woo! Oh. Why does this character have such ridiculous aerial mobility? She's a nun with a rapier. You know, like lore wise, the, the, the stand is part of the rapier. Yeah, it's not like any part of Aurier herself, like anything about her oh. abilities. In fact, I think the only ability that Aurier has that's supernatural, other than possessing the rapier, is like, I'm pretty sure she can just do like the jump, and that's it. Like the FF. Like, flippy thing. Could you call that supernatural, I guess? Uh. Oh, oh, very strange interaction, and BM is going to lose because of it. That is. <laughs> Look at this face! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is perfect. Yeah, thank you for the player camps. Look at the <laughs> I love playing games near Pesto and with Pesto. He's like one of the most animated people uh, on the yeah, planet. Yeah. Always laughing. All right, that puts uh, Papa Pesto one up over Bayside Milk Hunter. Though it was a close match for sure, and honestly, the ending interaction could have gone either way. Okay, so unless BM takes a huge risk here, he's going to win grid. That said, he did take the hit, but this is fine. Area combos do a lot more damage than I remember, to be honest, but... Mm, just wants that meter. And that way, TS is at around halfway, so we've got... Man, Cycle is turning fast. Oh, nice! Oh, he, he just barely won Cycle there. I think uh, Pesto shielded like just a frame too late. So, the usual, into the corner, so you see, web set, don't mess this up, DM. Great. Oh, that is cursed. What on earth? Dash B, no cancel into throw. It was actually like a, like a gold throw, too. Okay, that looked like a VOS, if anything, I'm not quite sure. Great concentrate, and an assault, and picks this up. Is he going to end the combo early to get IW? Yes, he is. This probably kills. This game is... I think it's... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this game is stupid. 
the damage is obscene in this game, especially minimum off of IW. Okay. Oh my god! But, you know, this, they used to call this game Anime Street Fighter, and it was kind of tongue-in-cheek for a long time, but there was, like, you know, a bit of truth to it. This matchup makes this look very, uh, you know, that that claim not so much anymore, it feels like. Oh, nice block from Pesto. I always forget which of those is actually an overhead. One of them's a mid. So, uh, both of them, uh, both of those are mid, uh, they disappear. Yes, but right. If you see the teleport, it's uh, even crouch block, right? That's how it works? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, B thrust and CS to clear the web safely in neutral, and if he had landed the hit, that would have been a fat starter. Okay, nice. Uh, I think at that distance it might not have worked, but I believe uh, most characters can just, or cast, can reaction 3D, yeah, via 2-2-C in neutral. Really? Yeah. Nice, TRM. Nice block. Oh, yeah, so BM green shielded there because he was looking to shield the 214B. But uh, so essentially, what happens there is Jim, most Oriers would do 6B into 214B, and then the B follow up afterwards, was, which is plus 4. B, 214B into B follow up is like a 7 frame gap, I think. Um, so you shield the 214B after blocking the 6B and then make it into a 10 frame gap and mash between the two hits of 214B and its follow up. But uh, Pesto one step ahead just a no cancel 6B like a psychopath and uh, baits out the green shield. Now if he were crazy he would have thrown that green shield. I gotta watch, I gotta see him do that next. Nice, oh my god. They made staggers into 5A so much easier. It used to be 5A 8A and now it's 5A 4A. I guess you're benefiting from that too as a Linne player. Uh, you can't even do it as Enkidu. This character might, oh. I, I gotta, oh, ground web. Yeah, B thrust doesn't clear ground web. Thank god it doesn't. It'd be a really weird hitbox. Nice, yeah. That is new, yeah. Why'd they do that? <laughs> I don't know. That's a good Why they should have made, uh, they should have just made every DP involved. Give me like Street Fighter gameplay. Nice. Oh, there's a really no pickup after that, even on counter. A little surprised. Okay, very careful, neutral. Nice. Okay. Oh, but misses the pickup. It's a little unfortunate. BM had CS. He could have made that pickup so much easier. But regardless, he's got a pickup now, and this is gonna go. Now we're in one touch territory on both sides, so things are looking pretty scary. And with how difficult defense is in this game, yep, things oh. are going to be resolved quickly. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Interrupts 5B started with 2A! That must have been like a frame apart. I saw most of 5B's animation there before it got interrupted. Nice walk back from DM, but no punish on the A thrust. How are you going to punish it, to be honest? Look at that! Dash 5A! Very nice. You know, actually, I, I don't like a lot of the animations for Smenders in this game, but Oriya's Smender was pretty decent. Yeah, it's pretty good. I love this thing that Pesto does. Where, oh my god. That's twice he's done that in this set. He just has like a knack for baiting out the BM's dash C's in neutral. Alright, that's... 2-1. This is winner's final, so it's going to be to 3, right? Cool. Yeah. You get to watch more gameplay. Cool. I mean, what do you do when that is? Like, nothing you can do. That's just using a four, like 4C a lot like early on in pressure. I'm not quite sure what that's about. Maybe he's scouting out the end's blocking habits versus the animation. Oh, just the slightest delay in that 2A to catch the 3B ADOS. Very cool. Nice. Yeah, scared him with that OS crush earlier, and now he feels ready to throw him. Worked out. BM's got Celestial here. This is big damage. Oh, he's just choosing to into IW. He gained back, I think, like 180% meter just now. Yeah, that was... Oh! He's able to get... 
able to get super off of it the web setup and still like almost have enough for another <laughs> EX. Yeah, the the Byakuya like Celestial in IW is crazy actually. A crossover arc there was an instance where uh, Big Black did an IW and then afterwards he still had like 192 meter <laughs> because of the, the meter game from Celestial CS. Oh! Oh my god, anti-air 5A? Excuse me? This button's uh, a little better than I've been led to believe, and it's already really good. Okay, we've got this like kind of pat, like two arms length kind of neutral. It's like three fourths. Ooh, that caught the oop, the float over. Very nice adaptation from BM. Okay, things are looking great for BM here. He's a round up, and he has Pesto in the website in the corner. Ooh. Oh, yep, there we go. Oh. Nice. This time the interaction worked out. So you, the uh, he did the two three six after uh, Oria had traveled a bit and thus had lost the invul. Nice. All right, that brings us to two two. The faces BM is making when he talks. I, I just know Pesto is like screaming and laughing as he's playing. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's so bold going for dash up throw after A thrust. It's not like it's plus or anything, but like it's just nice. Great stand shield and catches the landing recovery. Well, kind of drops the combo, resets to neutral. Oh my god, that be. Combo drops, unfortunate, but straight into damage for BM, and more importantly, positioning. Oh, okay, never mind, he's got positioning at least, but no Okay, okay Pesto's got CS. Oh. oh! Pesto just not respecting the gigantic lows this character has. Somehow got grid broken after a green shield mid screen. Oh, dropped oh. it. I think he tried to do dash 3B there, but got 2B instead. The perils of stick play. What is this butt rock that is playing in this stage? It's this, so, this, it's so easy. this music is terrible. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It is a little strange. I've never heard the song before. I guess the first thing I did in Uni 2 was turn to... Uh, I always just listen to my own music when I play, so it's like... <laughs> Oh my god, that caught two C's extended hurtbox. I didn't even know two C extended a hurtbox that far upwards. Okay, okay. Familiar sight. Okay, so BM. Nice. Great CS. CSing when you're in Byakuya Web Oki is actually kind of risky because the way Byakuya Web Oki works is. The way the webs work is that they become active, I believe. Six frames after the player becomes grabbable. So the reason why you have 14 frames of leeway on wake up versus three web Oki is because you have eight frames of throw protection plus the six frames before the webs become in, uh, active. Um, but the moment you see yes, you become grabbable, and so the web startup becomes faster in that situation. Yeah. That's There's on the final game, final round here. Mm -hmm. And BM's lad did a very key hit. Let's hope that he can turn this into a full setup. It's looking like it. This is, yeah, it's easy from there. Nice. Two web Oki. Okay, a little safer this time around. Doesn't need the back web anyway. Oh, short combo. BM is feeling a little worried here. He's choosing to forego big damage and just getting short combos into guaranteed uh, advantage. Nice, great green shield baiting. Oh, BM spends his CS. Oh my oh. god, jumped clean over to, to see the whole point of that move is to catch air. What on earth? I, I think it has like a minimum distance or something, at the very least. And then obviously the subsequent hits don't follow, oh. they just move forward. Oh, I think Pesto yes, kills yeah. off this. Pesto, yeah. He, oh my god, what a... Oh, I just know BM is... <laughs> I mean, that jump over the 2-2-C is crazy. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> this guy. All right, that drops BM down to losers finals versus Fern. Wait, no, actually versus the winner between Fern and SPS, right? Because yeah. that's losers semis. Yes. 
say, these two, uh, what to say how, uh, Varen vs. Espy also go. These players, uh, they always go back to back when they play each other in bracket. Mm hmm Yeah, I think that's what, Fern was telling me that, yeah, it's, it's actually, like, very scary for her, and makes sense, I guess. Yeah. Wagner's a scary, scary character. Yeah. Hey, maybe I should play Wagner. <laughs> Please, no. Why? Well, I, I can't, he can't, fine, Ank is fine. Ank is fine? I was telling, uh. Yeah. Uh, oh, you're a Wagner player? <laughs> Look I mean, uh, is it, no, it's, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, that character is, uh... I mean, she's, she's cheap, but, I mean... I hate that my, character. My character's also <laughs> cheap, you know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, people play that character because they know what they want. I gotta respect that kind of honesty, you yeah. know? <laughs> uh, I think I saw... <laughs> You're here to hit fast buttons and do big damage. And also combo off your throw as of the previous version of the game for some reason. Yeah, yeah that's Fern on the right. Man, like, I know I play, like, mostly characters that lose hard to zoners, but, like, I can't imagine actually playing, like, a hardcore zoner in a fighting game. Like, you live in fear all the time. It doesn't sound pleasant, you know? I haven't really played much of them. Uh, I hey, you play Wark. Oh, uh, yeah, Wark's a zoner. Wark's a zoner. She's got, like, the best projectiles in current code. Uh, I don't play Wark that often. Okay, I guess Compared to the play strike the characters like uh, H R and uh, H Satsuki. You don't even play H Satsuki. You just like played her like a day because you got her name in like a random lottery. I like I like I like the way she plays. I might, I might pick her up a bit more. Okay. okay. I mean she's she's cool. I think that character is pretty sick actually. She has the best throw out of the three Satsuki moons. Yeah. Just uh, was that X bite? Huh? Is that X bite? No, no, she just has a regular throw. That's the C and F Satsuki, their throws, she tosses them into the air and you can air attack, so it's like a terrible throw. But H Satsuki ground pounds them oh, with yeah. her regular throw, so it's actually like a hard knockdown that you can move. I never realized that the um, <clears throat> the sword trails for the shield, shield trails, on this water color are like bright green. Are they? Yeah. Look whenever he does FF. Well, if he gets to do FF ever again. Uh, Burns box the 50 or a girl like that. Oh, yep, yeah, that does not work, I guess. I think it works with a certain timing, maybe, but pretty rough once you're already blocking Bloom. Bloom. This isn't. Oh, she Whoa. drops it! Alright, we got one last chance, though! Oh, ah! He didn't believe! Why did he re beat that? No! Oh. Oh, immediate roll. Yeah, you see, even the shield uh, bashes are green. Very nice patient dash block gameplay from SPO. Oh, the second hit of 6 people that launches on counter hit. Yeah, see, it's green. Oh, yeah. Yeah, all of the shield moons are green and all the sword moons are bright red. It's Christmas Wagner, that's what it is. It's Santa's workshop Wagner. Making toys for all the good little children. Okay. Mixies, nice block. Wasn't really much of a mix up. Wonder if maybe that's trying to be safe from the or something. Oh, very nice. Oh, but no confirm. That five B was probably supposed to be a dash up or something. What's the V? Oh, he's gonna be going. She's gonna be going into the game. Uh, yeah, and meter is very important in this version of the game. She's actually like essentially at like a theoretical damage differential of like probably three K at this point. Right, but she's definitely gonna make back a decent chunk. Never mind, it's dropped. Oh, it doesn't block the pin. I think they did something to pin's animation to make it easier to, to notice or something because I feel like I'm blocking pin like way more consistently than I wasn't clear. Ah. She has to teleport in place? Oh my god, what do you do? To it's like one of those situations where like 3D is working, but it's putting Espios in like unfamiliar places, so he's getting scrambled by the fact that he 3D'd into like a strange position. Yeah. 
but that's it. Fern takes the first game. This is losers semis, first to two, which means that Fern is one away from sending Espio's out of bracket. But Espio is definitely not going down without a fight. Nice, good meaty throw. Love meaty throws. Do it again. Oh, never oh, mind. Nice. Fern mashed. Mad woman. Oh, man. Nice, good tech. I like uh, the stubbornness from Fern. After losing to like hard to an option that uh, would have punished that throw tech. <laughs> oh, grid break JC starter. This is actually not as much damage as I was expecting. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Kind of yeah, random pins in neutral are so tough. Nice, good block this time. Oh. Tried to 6B immediately after blocking the FF. Rough. Oh man, it felt like Espios was in control, but Fern tech that throw and then turned that frame advantage into life advantage. <laughs> Oh. Nice. Oh, good. Okay, now we are 3 4 5 on those pin blocks, but unfortunately, keeps getting caught out of 6B startup. Oh, no. Yeah, Espios keeps trying to 3D. I, I guess it must work versus Fern if he does it so much versus her. I, I've never seen these two play that much, to be honest. Oh. Nice. So, the, yeah, that, that setup does dodge VO. I was wondering why she did it, because it's not really a mix up. It's just always going to be a high there. But it makes sense. It was quarter a bit. Okay, nice VO. And then she gets a free. Nice! So Espios did the wake up 2A there to keep himself in crouching state so that the um, the skewer whiffs over him. Because the whole point of the skewer is to um, force the. Uh, force Essentially, the first frame after you wake up, your character is in stand state even if you're holding down back. And the skewer forces you to block, but if you wake up mash 2A, then you immediately put yourself in crouch state and the skewer will whiff over you and you don't get stuck in blocks done. That said, SBO's lost, unfortunately. Cannot block a final 50 -50. I see him walking over to the setup. I think he should be there shortly. Mm. Oh my lord. Oh. <clears throat> oh my god. Yeah, the the big popular games are all out the end of the day, huh? That makes sense. Alright, there's BM. Okay, BM versus Fern. So, I think the last... The winner's side set that they played was on stream earlier. And I think BM took a 2-0 over Fern. Well, I know BM took it because he wasn't winners. It is a run back, yeah. All right, loser's finals. That means first to three. BM choosing to just down back on the long round start. Getting some data, getting some data. Nice mash out. Oh! Oh yeah, that's like one of the nice things about the new 2-2. It lets him uh, convert off those like, like super far out 5C hits. The stagger off that 2C into 5C was actually crazy. I would have mashed there too, or at least dash block. See, uh, 4 or 5C would be like a common mash point to get the Convert, right? It used to be. I mean, it used to be that you just got that counter hit and then like nothing else. Yeah. Oh, oh. ah, whiff throw so plus. And the TRM at the throw, yeah. Yeah, Yakio Web is so good for a throw. Game. TRM's for you. Oh, 
Oh. So Fern tried to stand block for just an instant there so she can stand block the tall web. But then she must have fuzzied back down to crouch block, which is why she got that hit by the assault. Fern is still in this corner. Oh my god. I think there was like a... I don't know actually what that was. 5A maybe? They got caught out by the 5B. Okay, web Oki again. Things are looking grim for Fern. Hilda not the best at coming back under heavy pressure and the TRM. Yeah, Fern OS is a lot. She is, uh... I was... When I was playing her earlier, I was surprised because I blew up her OS like twice and she was still trying to tech throws. Mm, yeah. Nice shield! Oh, but... Okay, as a BM essentially just gave up on grid in that direction. Oh. No, the whip punish! We got footsies <laughs> in this game. <laughs> okay, yep. Nice. So what BM did there was he dash blocked so he could block the Roomba earlier and make it so that she didn't have as much time to set up the mix. Nice, oh. staggered. That was so risky, because, like, so that... The new 2-2-C EX move is minus 3 on block, but it's like so telegraphed in the way that uh, it is after Super Flash that if you are practiced at it, you can shield it, right? So that makes it minus 6, which makes it truly punishable. So doing Rekka into 2-2-C is like kind of not a good option. Run making a dent. Nice. Oh, good pressure, but unfortunately for waited a little too long for trying to whip punish there. Nice, it drops the dash C with the dash B of her own. Oh, no glue. Interesting. I, I'm not really sure. I think Fern just had one of those moments where she was kind of like caught between two options that she could have done. Potentially checking cycle two and realizing that she didn't actually have the ability to win in that situation. Oh, I got the, the mashing on drops! This game has so many safe drops. People, I mean, I do it too. I mash after drops, but like, it's so dangerous. Nice, went for the low. Held that JC for so long. That's not fair. <laughs> nice. Rago mash after the no cancel from BM. Mm -hmm. That throw was crazy. That might have even been a tech. Oh my god, FF dodges VO. Wow, and Fern's in yet another position where she just VO'd at the end of a round and going into round three with no meter. Nice! Dashes right through the d into the dead zone. Uh, uh. Oh, drop, of course, as soon as I start doing the rhythmic uh, <laughs> ad-libbing. Okay, yeah, Fern got it. Wow, what a crazy, I mean, great mash from Fern. It was weird, the way the pin hit there. Lots of... Ooh, nice. Yeah, 2cc uh, from that distance is definitely risky. I think it's probably one of the riskiest things you can do. I think you just jump over. And BM is going to take the first, second game. Puts him up 2-0 over Fern. Fern does have at least one more game to make an adaptation. She's making good choices. She's just, like, kind of uh, not... Uh, Ex executing when it comes to taking advantage of the momentum that she's getting off of these hits. BM's got great defense, good dash blocking. This time though, Fern interrupts a button after a button attempt after a dash block. Oh, another drop. Good blocks from BM. They pins. Oh, 2C was not long enough to catch. I think it's actually because uh, Fern <laughs> just continued standing up. Maybe if she were crouching. Hilda, actually, I think, I, I don't know if this is the case anymore, but at least in the last version, she had this thing where her hurt box changed in crouching and block stun, uh, as opposed to being in, like, just crouching position. She got, like, narrower because she pulls her foot back when she blocks. Nice, 3D round start through the six. Oh, that's a great option. I should have been doing that. <laughs> I was like doing like hard callouts, like way like round start back dash forward dash, but I could just do 3D. I would have call, probably covered like multiple options. Oh, I think that 
that decision after the CS from Fern, there was definitely a mistake. I don't think 5B was correct, though I don't really know what a Hilda should have done in that position. Okay. Things are looking dire for Fern here. Honestly, from the meter perspective, I think it's probably best if Fern just loses this round immediately. Uh, Burn BM's gonna gain enough meter from this to get the full 200. Oh, never mind. I was expecting just like a... Hmm. Okay, but either way, they're close in meter now, but Fern does have the resource advantage. Nice! Catches the 3D with 2cc. Oh! oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what a strange interaction. Uh, a little stutter before hitting the 5A counter hits, but no confirm. Fern's looking a little shaky. Okay, BM still does not confirm after the 2-2-C. I, I, still, I think he may as well use CS. Oh, and he's going to lose CS without having used it. Mark of shame. Okay, we got Roomba resets. Actually, I, I, is this how Hilda plays now? Like, resets after that combo with Roomba? It's very strange looking. Oh, the which way? <laughs> I think BM accidentally walked himself into a cross-up situation. And this kills. Yeah, this kills. Taking one game. Let's see if she can convert that win into momentum. Taking her time. I approve. I like the walk back too, see, that's a, a cool round start. I don't really know what the effective startup is, though. I think. Oh man, BM! This Byakuya character's dash block is so good. I think he has like, I don't know what it is, but in ST, clear at least, it was like easily one of the best in the game. He has very high dash acceleration, or fast dash acceleration. BM's mash outs are just working. Fern's block strings are not looking great versus BM. He's just picking the right buttons to mash at the right times, like it's just working exactly, and this is death. Alright, scary for Fern. BM is on set point. Okay, no shield from the 2 2 C, but mashes anyway. BM tried to hit a button after that, despite being minus 3. That was weird. Nice. So he he green shielded there because he was expecting a falling JB and Fern didn't do anything. <laughs> so this time Fern interrupts the the button after 3D. Okay. This gives BM Celestial though. It's kind of scary. Fern could like explode off a single hit. Okay. This is not it. Does he keep Celestial here? Oh, he's not gonna have it. Okay. Oh, oh, pin animation. Thank God that move has animation. Oh, that was strange. That, you know, it's liable to happen with Byakuya combos, but like, I think it happens more so in this one. Uni 2, they change the way collision boxes interact with each other, and so you end up with cross-throughs a lot more often than you did in Uni Clear, which is kind of a shame. Oh. Fern loves doing that. I don't know any other Hilda that doesn't really, like, the teleport out of the corner. The way her Fern uses it, it makes me always wonder why other Hildas don't use it. I mean, obviously there's risks involved, but... There it is. Well, that is it. Okay. And thus takes the game and takes the set 3-1 over Fern. Alright, that means that... Grand Finals is going to be the run back. It will be Pesto versus BM. Have you noticed that Byakuya's win quote is no longer Byakuya talking? It's her, it's his sister talking, or the you know Strix or whatever her name I is. Was yeah, I thought you know, lore-wise, it's not actually his sister. It's just someone who he thinks looks like her sister. His sister, but her, her name is Strix. 
Strix. A Strix? Yeah, I think. Because oh. I think Byakuya's real sister's name is Tsukuyomi, yeah. but that's not her name because she's not actually Tsukuyomi. She just yeah. looks like her. Okay. That was a bit weird. Uh, yeah, her name is Strix, and she's like an in-birth who can't, like, currently can't use her abilities because of like some injury or something. Yeah, she's, you know, <laughs> she's got her uh, loyal lapdog to do all the work for her. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's actually the Twitter beam. Like, I think we got to kill this guy, Byakuya. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Except Byakuya was like, all right. <laughs> yeah, say less. Hell yeah. <laughs> I think that is Pesto standing in front of uh, BM is probably going to the bathroom between sets or something. Yeah, BM suffers like actually pretty straight. I, I I'm a little surprised because BM does suffer from like a beta tournament nerves, like a decent amount actually. Yeah, understandable. Hey Roger, have you seen Ajime and Ryzen? I know he was uh, walking around between sets. Yeah. <laughs> This is a bad strategy at all. Oh yeah, I mean, calming down is a great idea, in general. Yeah. There we are, there's BM, there's Papa Pesto. Looks like the names are correct. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're back to this screen. I think they've swapped positions between the last set. I'll we'll see if Pesto is going to pick Ori again. It worked really well last time. Yeah, all right, he is. All right. BM is going to have to prove his metal in order to get Pesto to bring Big the Carmine out. And of course, this is a uh, there's a Texas Showdown registration on the line here, right? Yeah. Um, Pesto is already registered, so I'm not really sure what. Oh. Okay. Okay, it's quite nice, yeah. Oh, it's gravy in chat. What the heck? How do you find this place? Nice, okay. The dash B dash B combo is so funny looking. Back in like ST, when I used to play with this. Uh, SoCal Ori player named Soatic. He's always like, you know, one of the calmest guys, like very like nice guy. Um, he once came into VC like wasted out of his mind after playing at locals, and he in like he played against us. He was always the best guy in our group. He played against us and spent the entire night trying to land a counter hit 5C so he can do like the very specific meme combo that involves like eight dash Bs in a row and like spent the entire night trying to do that while drunk. It was very funny. Anyway, uh... That's dead, oh my lord. What the heck? <laughs> this game is, it's nuclear tag. It's no longer a survival game, it's a killing game. We've moved to the aggressors. Nice little stutter before the 2B, just to look up a fussy time, essentially. Okay, let's see what the Oki is. Oh, oh TRM. TRM! Oh, interesting. I guess that was supposed to be like a safe reversal, or a safe media of some kind. I've never seen that before. Yeah, I didn't believe in that 2B mash. BM's pretty consistently stand shielding whenever Pesto's in the air. Uh, we're probably going to see like a, a Canada killer soon, which is landing and doing the low instead <laughs> to, to grid break them. Ooh. Just 
slow-paced gameplay. As they, I feel like these two, when they play each other, we've seen the slowest gameplay out of the entire bracket. Oh my god, what the heck happened? I looked away for just a moment and uh, Pesto is whiffing VO from like full screen distance. Nice. Huh, I wonder if you can, you can probably just do that on reaction, can't you, huh? A little bit of a jump scare, dash up web set, nice. Assault JC, air to air counter hit. Can't kill off this little bit of a strange combo in there. Can this, can, can Yakuya pick up after 3C and non counter hit? I guess not, right? He probably has to buffer something. CRM, about to go this time out here. Yeah, yeah. I think all he has to do is just. Oh, nice, oh, great. Nice. He has mashing green shield to cre create a gap and then push him out far enough that he can do that sacred spire. Great stuff from Pesto. <laughs> And they, both of these players choosing to opt up, opting to walk back on round start. Really strong option for both of these characters, actually. These two both uh, have, well, obviously, like infamous, Oria infamous for having like an extremely fast back walk, fastest in the game. And Yakuya also no slouch in the back walk department. That said, Pesto is kind of uh, turning this into a slaughter. Okay, one more hit. It's a little spooky. Oh, the counter hit 5A, but Pesto didn't believe. Nice. nice! Good 5A. Nice, uh, jab, or, yeah, nice jab check. Okay, once again, this is a character, BM is playing a character that can turn things around with just one hit. Biakia 5A does like 80,000 damage, essentially. <coughs> I have no idea how sensitive these mics are, so hopefully they're not picking me up when I'm, I'm coughing or sneezing, but... All right, we're back in Web Oki. I keep looking away and things have progressed in ways that I, I can't quite understand how things have strung together. Oh my god, Mia! Spooky? Okay. Oh my god, that's it. BM has brought that back. Very nice. BM shaking his head, pesto laughing at the end of that round. I felt so. Oh, okay. Ashimoto. Oh, try the stand. The, the, uh, oh, for the stand for the high web, yeah. Another one. You're gonna have to block another one. Oh, oh I feel like. Oh, he didn't have the meter. I was like, I, I feel like uh, BM could have with canceled that, but he didn't have the meter to actually do any X move. Oh. oh, such careful. Oh, Pesto wins grid here. Oh, okay. Oh my god, spirited mashup. With IW, he kills. Okay. 1-1, one, one, BM versus Pesto. BM's trying to drag this out as long as possible. <laughs> Bang, okay. Wow, okay. Yeah, mash right away after blocking the 5B. Yeah, and the return these two characters get for each individual hit is just completely different. Although Pet BM just didn't spend meter there. I'm a little surprised he just dropped the combo, I guess. Oh, air unblockable, but Pesto doesn't fully uh, capitalize on that hit. Huh. Ooh, okay, okay. Nice, yeah, Divine Thrust is broken, busted into two. Just throw it out. 
Yeah, I think Pesto recognized that time that if he had Sacred Spire, their VM would have just turned to succeed back. That here actually happened already. Nice. Immediate J2C rising. Catches uh, Pesto trying to jump. Looks like. Oh no, what oh, is VM no. doing? 2 to c Oh, oh, oh you <laughs> saw the super flash. He actually, he tried to do a late cancel into 2 to c but uh, 5A is just too fast. Oh my god, they're like... Thrust into thrust. It's scary. It's busted. Maybe I really should play this character. I think Pesto might be convinced by Nice, just getting some free grid off that 2-2-C. BM in a sore position here. Yeah, he's got Celestial. BM has to make sure he does. Okay, never mind. He spent it. <laughs> it's looking like Street Fighter, just like random like individual hits. There we go. Now it's not Street Fighter. <laughs> if Street Fighter had a button like A thrust, oh god. Actually, that's just like any record on Street Fighter, isn't it? Never mind. <laughs> Nice, and that's it. Uh, Pesto right. up to mm -hmm. BM. And that looked like a really convincing game. Pesto steadily backing BM up against the wall, both in game and uh, mentally, maybe. We'll see. Nice Whoa. sand shield. Oh, you saw the flip around again. Yeah, I think BM got confused by that. <laughs> Yeah, BM wants to do nothing here so he can win grid, which he did. Very good. Okay, so we're past the halfway point on TS. BM either wants to use... He doesn't want to use CS anymore. He needs. He wants to keep... Oh, unfortunate. Oh, the oh, fadeaway JC. It's such a big air button. Very late. They catch a very late OS by BM. I think BM can kill here. Uh, I don't know if this kills. It's going to be close. It's like one TRM away, which makes it worth. I assume this is one of the characters that gets Oki off IWEX. Yeah. I'm a little surprised BM didn't go for just like a, a strike throw mix on Oki, but I guess he was very of Dio. Oh man, why does this character have that kind of stuff? Why does, he, why does she have like ways to alter her air momentum? She's a nun. Like, why does she have this? It's so cheap. Oh, oh, he went for the green, the Midori Kakudin, but he missed it. Wasn't fast on the draw. Oh, yeah, that was probably supposed to be dash C, but uh, he messed up and got dash 5C instead. Man, this game is so whack from what I think about it. Not even the damage, I just mean like the fact that like this is a game where everyone has like a universal low crush option and assault and stuff like that. Oh my god, the, <laughs> the falling J2C. Interesting. That's, yeah. Oh, and Pesto takes it 3-1 over BM. Good set. I am probably going to pick a 4 here. <laughs> uh, oh, no, they're, they're, uh, BM is furious, clear. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and Pesto is going to win a second registration to Texas Showdown. He gets to go to Texas Showdown twice this year. That's crazy. Yeah. Mm, yeah, no, this is, uh, I mean, thanks for having us Thank on the you. mic. This is fun. This is, uh, this is, uh, an experience for me. <laughs> yeah, I guess you've never got done commentary before, no, have no, you? No, no. Yeah. yeah. Just yell into the mic. 
This I mean, I used to do commentary a lot, but I haven't done it. And I also don't play this game, so it's like <laughs> not, not much anymore at the very least. So it's like I feel kind of inadequate on the mic, but but uh, nonetheless, the the event was fun, very well run, um, which is pretty impressive considering they're running like four games in a row, four right? Games in a row yeah. Yeah, absurd, ridiculous counts. 122 altogether. Yeah, that, that's crazy. I mean, the venue is like, it's big, but it's not that big, you know? So it's, yeah. it's well run considering the uh, straight space constraints. As for sign offs, I don't really have much to say. I mean, if you're ever in the. I'm, I'm from Austin. If you're in the Austin area, our locals, our monthlies are going to be next week, next, uh, next Friday. So, uh, wait, it is next Friday, right? Yeah, it's next Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that'll be fun. Um, uh, if you show like your locals, I gotta show my locals. Uh, Shikomi Saturdays, it happens. Uh, but bi-monthly, uh, the first, uh, the first Shikomi not having uni, but the second Shikomi usually having uh, uni on there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess I I have to say that look so, the, the Austin. Hmm? Uh, so yeah, keep in mind. Uh, and just look out for it, uh, the Houston area. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. The Austin locals, I forgot to say, the name is Unseen in Invasion. Um, and we are running at Arcade UFO in Austin. So come by first Friday of every month. And uh, I'm Triplicate. And I'm Upstyle. Yeah. And we're good. <laughs>